workshop day is always a good day, even if it's a rainy day. And building things on my lathe is always fun. I need a new tool, a tap follower. Rather than buying one on Amazon or from China, let's make our own. But gripping it gently is important. Copper soft jaws work a treat. A tap follower is a really good starting project. I got this design from Quinn at Blondie Hacks. My life is made a lot better because I've got a quick change tool post. And a carbide insert makes easy work of this 14mm bar stock. I'm not working from drawings, I'm just making it up. Which is fine for a tap follower. The idea is to drill all the way through this solid rod and put in a spring-loaded point. But to reduce its OD, its outside diameter, there's Hangout. Hangout calls for centre drilling and a live centre. As with all lathe projects, being accurate is actually fun. Just a bit of a clean-up using my Warco WM250 lathe. The outside diameter of this bit of stock that I already had will fit in the tailstock chuck, the mill, or my drill press. First drilling all the way through the bar M6, then M8, and then tapping for a cap. I had a piece of hardened tool steel to make the pointer, but cutting an accurate 60 degree taper was hard going. So I finished it off on the belt sander. So let's personalize the tool using the laser etcher. Ultraviolet lasers turn the magnesium alloy in stainless steel black. Time for assembly. Does it all fit? Yes, that's much better than buying a tool. Go out and make your own. Another fun day in the workshop, being creative. I'm sure you are too.